the fascia is made of uh, fibrous connective tissue uh, permeates the entire body, right? Like a three-dimensional web. It includes uh, the cells that are in, the, in between the, the different tissues in the body, the interstitial space, and all the, the matrix that is in between the cells, and all the tendons, and all the ligaments, and all the bursa, I mean the sacs that cover the, the joints. And it goes around all the muscles in the body. It also surrounds every organ of the body, including the brain. And even the cartilage and bone are part of the fascial tissues. They're all one thing, and they all connect uh, and transmit information throughout our body. So it's a, it's a tremendous system for structure, for function, and for information uh, transmission and at the physical level because then there's information transmitted through uh, you know things that run in the blood for example uh, hormones and uh, and then neurotransmitters and so forth or the nervous system but the fascia is a, a, the way that the body talks to each other in the different parts physically and uh, in this uh, he, image here it's a, it's a really great image from uh from a university of osteopathy in uh, in france because you, you can see see the, the the tissue that he's pointing at is the liver all this is the liver and the and the liver is covered see where you if you touch that it's like a, like a membrane like a like a sheath that covers the actual liver tissue that's fascia it's like a shiny uh, layer that is around each organ and then on top there is the dome that's the diaphragm and again also the muscle fibers surrounded by fascia and between you can see those lines of ropey lines those are adhesions and it's a very great way to take a look they, they are also made of, of fascia tissue but they are you know things that shouldn't be in the way because it's a, the the wrong manifestation of this uh, covering uh, structure, uh, it's when it actually works against us and it interferes with movement and, and uh, function. So adhesions are literally ropey materials that form between parts of the body, in this case, the diaphragm muscle and the liver, and they uh, interfere with the normal function and normal movement. And it's a really wonderful photo tour I wanted to show you guys. Uh, there's different fascias that we you know, want to emphasize. The, the plantar fascia, very important because it's how we uh, connect to the earth and information comes from the earth. Uh, we have all the, the psoas and piriformis fascia on the glutes, all the structure of the pelvis. Uh, then we have the abdominal fascia and uh, the axillary fascia with all the, uh, the, the it's a combination of our secrets and personal history, uh, our immune response, and, uh, and the occipital fascia uh, with how we transmit in the tension and the stressors from our experience of life into our neck and head. Um, you know, the fascia in the way we uh, are learning and we are very much in alignment with it in our program being energy is uh, as a, a holder of our beliefs and our ideas of who we are um, it is we could say the uh, holder of our personal history um, we have information and experiences directly stored in the fascia. And so how we, uh, our belief system will show up and how we move and how we conduct ourselves. And the fascia is the medium for that. So we were always looking for ways to soften the fascia, uh, increase fluidity and mobility in the fascia so that information can be uh, passed through and is not locked in. And whenever we have a, a negative experience, 
we usually create a form of contraction or tightening and they can be lodged in the fascia. So the fascia can actually uh, have an imprint of memories and experiences in, a, in, a, in our body. So we want to uh, free the, the, the experience in the body and many times we can access that directly by images. So if, say if, you are, if you are doing a pressure point in your fascia or you're doing a movement or you're doing a stretch and then you allow an image to pop, an image to appear and, and that is likely, if you're, if you're you know, present in the moment rather than thinking about other things, the image is likely to be a representation of a memory that is locked in your fascia. And you can actually have an a interaction with that image and, um, and you can let the image transform and, and in doing so, the fascia also will release some of the imprint that is stored.